So I was doing manual enumeration, trying to escalate my privileges in this nunchucks machine from hack to box. And I was searching for binaries with capabilities. So I ran this command and I found out that Perl had capabilities. And I was excited. I was like, done deal, game over, I'm done. Time to take a break, case closed. Because I knew that if Perl had capabilities, I could escalate my privileges. So I went on GTO, GTF opens, searched for Perl capabilities, and I copied this command to escalate my privileges, fully expecting to become root. But as you can see, I'm not. I was disappointed. I was like, I'm supposed to be root. I should be root. What's going on? And so I started changing the command being executed. So instead of executing bin sh, I executed id. And it turned out that my user id was root. And if I did who am I, I was root. So I was like, what kind of bull is this? Why can't I escalate my privileges by running bin as h? But when I run id and who am I, I'm root. What's going on? And so after some little bit more digging, I found out that app armor was being used. Now, if you don't know what app armor is, app armor is a way of setting much more restrictive access controls for binaries in Linux. And with app armor, you can set rules on what a binary can and can't run. And these rules are saved under a profile. And these profiles are in the etsy arm app armor dot d directory and if we ls there's a profile for Perl. and if we read this profile you can see that there is a set of rules for this binary and as you can see we have deny access for anything in root so we can't read write or execute we can't read, we can't read, write, or execute Etsy Shadow. But we can do ID, ls, cat, who am I, run the script, read home, and read home David. And so this explains why we can't run bin sh, but we can run ID. And who am I? Because bin sh is not allowed, but id and who am I are allowed. And so I was thinking, well, how can I bypass this? Right, and after some digging, I found this article that said that if you run a script with a shebang, and then you specify the binary that you want to use. In their case, it's Perl because Perl is a binary with capabilities. And so you, if you write a script with a shebang and the interpreter that you want to use, you can bypass these rules that are set in the app armor profile for a specific binary. In our case, it's Perl. And so if we write this malicious command to get root to elevate our privileges if we write this malicious command in a script with a shebang we're allowed we can bypass the restrictions the rules imposed by an app armor profile and so what we can do is go to a writable directory and create a file copy our malicious command 
which is this here. And instead of running it like this, we can run it in a file. Instead of doing bin sh, we can do bin bash. And like I said before, to bypass the restriction, uh, the rules set by App Armor, we can use the shebang and then specify the interpreter that we want to use. In our case, it's Perl because Perl is the binary with uh, capabilities. And so, like I said a few moments ago, if we include a shebang, the rules set by App, App Armor aren't going to be taken into account, it won't be applied. And so it'll execute our malicious code and give us root privileges. But first we have to change, we have to make the file executable. Once it's executable, we can run it. Now let me run it by saying Perl. Now before I do this, I want to explain that there's two ways to run a command, a script, a cron job in Linux. One is by calling the interpreter like Perl. You can, it could also be bin, it could also be uh, bash, Python, whatever. But in our, in our case, it's Perl. And then specify the script as an argument. But when we run this, like I said before, the app armor restrictions rules are applied. They're imposed and we get permission denied. But if we run the file like this, which is the second way you can run a script uh, is by a dot and a forward slash. If you run the file like this, the app armor restrictions, the rules aren't applied, they're not imposed, and you're able to bypass the restriction. And as you can see, we become root. And so next time that there is a capability for a binary, but for some reason, it won't allow you to execute. It won't allow you to escalate your privileges. Make sure to check if App Armor is being used, and use this method of instead of of running the command, and instead of running this command directly by calling Perl, you can just simply run the command by putting it in a script first using the shebang and then running the script that way and like I said before that way uh, app armor restrictions the rules aren't imposed and aren't applied and you're able to escalate your privileges and so I hope this made sense and have a nice day